Now, more of the All-Star High School Sports Show with Justin McIsaac. And we're back. It's the All-Star High School Sports Show each and every Tuesday night now. was Mondays, now Tuesdays. Write it down. Tell your friends. We're here with the Portsmouth Christian Academy Eagles baseball team based out of Dover. It's Portsmouth Christian Academy of Dover now, right? Is that right, Coach? That's correct. It's uh, and if you want to pull that microphone right in front of you, that would be awesome. All right. What's with Christian Academy at Dover? Of Dover, like the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. There you go. That's right. So, and we're here with uh, joining us right now is uh, Coach Jeff uh, Leduc. And Coach, glad you could be here tonight. Thank you very much for having us. And uh, and we're also joined by uh, Ryan Lemire is with us, a junior. How you doing, Ryan? Doing well. And uh, Justin Leduc is with us, also a junior. How you doing, Justin? Thank you. And uh, you guys are the the La Twins, I'm told. Lemire and Leduc. Yeah, that's what we're jackets. told. That's what, yeah. <laughs> so you get you get matching jackets, matching shirts, stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. Okay, all right, that, 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 that's cool. So uh, you guys had a good run last year. You went to the, if I'm not mistaken, the, it was the semifinals, right? Yep. Before, uh, unfortunately, got got shut out in the semifinals, which you're going to run into a good pitcher now and then. But uh, tell me, Ryan, what did you learn from that experience getting that far last year? Um. Well, you know, you just kind of, you just got to learn from, I don't know, just <laughs> uh what po- what positives did you take? I mean, obviously, you don't want to lose your last game. You don't want to lose in the semifinals. But what positives did you take from that season? Um, basically, that you just win as a team and you lose as a team. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. so what 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 kind of aspects of you know winning baseball did you pick up last year? Um, I don't know. Just playing together well, having good uh, composure, and just going out there and having fun. All right. Now, Justin, what about you? I mean, you guys were you guys kind of uh, blew out a lot of teams last year. And uh, you, you did play some close games, too, but what, what what sort of things did you pick up last year from having so much success? I don't know. We just went out there, did our own jobs, and worked hard, and stayed as a team. And when we were doing that, we came out on top with it. Okay. And what? Now, obviously, you don't want to lose your last game, like we said. But, I mean, could you take positives from getting to the semifinals, or is it just kinda, does it just kind of tick you off a little bit? Well, we learned that we can make it there. Why not do it again? If we can. Right on. And, uh, Coach, you were an assistant coach. Uh, Marty McKenna was the coach last year. You were one of his assistants, and uh, Marty's a friend of the program. Uh, what, what, what sort of things did you pick up on last year that you think can apply to this year as well? Well, like uh, as any coach would be thinking as you're going along and winning games, you'd, uh, you know, eventually uh, there's going to be a loss in the column, and uh, you're just hoping it's not the <laughs> last game of the year. So Right, yeah. You know, to the point that we're hoping maybe we lost a game before we got into that position. So. I, I was going to say, you guys went undefeated through the regular season. Yes, we did. And, uh, and actually, you had one of the cooler walk-offs that I've, we, we did the game against Lisbon. You had a walk-off suicide squeeze. <laughs> yes, we did. Which was that you, yeah, Justin? That was me. All right, no, it's in my scorebook. I'm just couldn't remember, but yeah, that's. Uh, that was that's... Justin hoping he wasn't uh, run into by the uh, <laughs> third base runner coming down. And it don't, the yeah, train. yeah, you almost were, as <laughs> I recall. Yeah, <laughs> but, but that, yeah, that was pretty awesome. But um, so, so you, you you take all those positives, you try to apply them this year, and you got a much younger team this year, right? Yes, we have uh, eight returning, uh, and we have ten new, so uh, we're able to pick up some freshmen and some sophomores, uh, which is great for the for the program. Uh, to, you know, we'd like to eventually have two teams, a JV and a varsity. Right. So we have a feeder team. So basically getting the, the younger kids involved and having them learn the system and then bringing them up and getting them out on the field right. to play. Probably tough to have a JV team at a school as small as Portsmouth Christian. You guys are Division Four, not not a huge enrollment either. So That's correct. But it's it's looking positive. We're, again, we had uh, 20 come out for tryouts. I had several uh, uh, middle school students come up and ask if they could try out right um, so we welcome them to come out and practice with us and uh, hopefully eventually we'll be able to put that second team in and in division four you can have eighth graders play like jv is that correct uh, as far as the the rules go is if you do not have uh, 15 high school kids come out for the tryouts you can add uh, eighth graders in oh nice okay but again we were excited that we had we had 20 of them come out this year so that, that's excellent and uh so ryan uh, what position are you playing this year i know sometimes it'll change from year to year what are you playing this year? um this year I'm, i'll be at shortstop and i'll be pitching a little bit as well pitching a little bit as well is that what you played last year or last year i was at second you're at second okay yeah. so you're moving over so what 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 can i now i play in an old guy league sometimes they make me play short which is a real bad decision on the part of the manager but usually i play second so is it tough yeah how, describe how tough it is for you going from one spot to the other you see the, everything looks way different yeah it, it's not too bad but just the main thing i notice is just the throw from short to first is just a little further you had, much. if you had to adjust a little bit because second you can just yeah. kind of flip it over there yeah exactly yeah you have to put a little more power into your throw yeah, I mean, you're going <laughs> d- deep into the hole it's short yeah right no, yeah no messing yeah. around all right and uh justin what position are you playing this year uh this year i'm catching third base and a little off on the mound pitching Okay, and then it was did you do any of that last year? Or were you different? Nope. No, where where were you last year? Uh, last year I was in right field. 
Right field. Okay, so it's a whole new thing for you. Yep. And uh, the, the good part about last year where, where you were blowing teams out was guys get to try different positions at least. Did you experiment at all at pitcher last year? Or? Nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nope. So now is this something you work on in the off season? Your father's a coach, so obviously you probably have a little communication like, hey, I'm going to try you here, there. Do you, do you work on your you know different pitches in the off season? Yeah, last summer I started working on it, but really started to work on it now since I'm definitely going to be up there. Okay, and then do you go to like USA Baseball or anything like that, or are you just throw USA? USA, yeah. and uh, what, what what would you say your best pitch is right now? Fastball. Fastball. <laughs> Listen, if you can locate a fastball, sometimes it's ask Mariano Rivera. He's been throwing one pitch for twenty yep. years, so so uh, you still working on the secondary pitches, or yeah, I'm getting there. Get getting there. Listen, throw a knuckleball. You can pitch till you're seventy. Yeah. That's <laughs> that's what I'm working on. Okay, and now, uh, Coach, I mean. Are a lot of uh, a lot of guys playing a lot of different positions than they did last year? Obviously, Ryan and Justin are mixing it up a little bit. Are you kind of juggling the lineup all over the place, or do you have anybody returning to their spot from last year? We've got Matt Salloway. Uh, he's going to be returning in center field. Andrew Cunningham is going to be in left field. Okay. Uh, we have a few spots open in the uh, infield, and then obviously in the pitching positions, we have a, a freshman that's going to be pitching for us, and uh, a few other upperclassmen that uh, are doing well and getting it over the plate. Okay, and uh, that's the uh, I mean that's the whole the long and the short of it in, in any high school program is pitching, right? Especially in this division, I mean that makes or breaks you. If you can find three or four pitchers that can get it over the plate, I mean that's definitely a positive for the team. So yeah, and some, I mean uh, sometimes you're lucky. Some teams are lucky to get one or two guys that can you know, and then you know that can that can start. And if, you know, some kids can throw an inning or two. Uh, so, but you, it seems like you're you're feeling positive so far about your pitching staff, or is it a work in progress? I've, I've got the numbers, you know, just for what you said, the couple innings to get them in, get them out, and uh, change it up a little bit to keep the other team on their toes. Right on. All right. So uh, let me ask you this, uh, Ryan. I'll I'll start with you. Um, so, uh, Division Four. I mean, uh, you guys were the big dog last year. You probably uh, had a target on your back. It, you know, with a, with a younger team. Are you guys feeling like underdogs, or are you still feeling like uh, you know you you got that target on your back? Um, I don't think we're feeling like underdogs, but I don't know. This year, coaches kind of implanted a saying: "Quiet confidence." Okay. So, you just gotta have quiet confidence out there and go out there and play our best. All right. What What about you, Justin? Do you feel like you got the target on your back, or? Um, as long as we go out and do our job, we might. And if we end up the way we were last year, but we just gotta focus on that. June 8th, as they say. <laughs> That's right. Championship. So everybody's looking at it. Everybody's goal at the start of the season is June 8th. And, uh, you now, Ryan, high school baseball is such a short season. It's it's kind of, uh, you know, when you think of baseball, you think of large sample sizes and being patient and stuff like that. You really can't in high school. You guys have to, like, every game, it's like a football game. There's only like 16 or 18 of them. I mean, how intense do you have to be focused on each and every game in, in high school baseball? Uh, you really got to be focused on each game because pretty much every game counts, you know. One loss here could move you around in the standings a lot, so you really gotta be focused every game out there and go out there and try to get a win. Right now, and, and Justin, if you know, if you guys, you know, if, you know, if you hit like a three-game losing streak in, in the majors, it's no big deal. You have 162 games to make up. You're basically every game you guys play is like playing 10 games in the majors. So I mean, does that pressure? Do you feel that pressure sometimes? Yeah, but you just don't worry about the past and just focus on that one game. Don't worry about the future. Just win every pitch, whether you're on defense or on offense. Right on, and, and Coach uh, Jeff LeDuc. I mean, is it tougher to manage you know, the team when you know you have, you know, you play four games and the season's a quarter of the way over? Is it is it tougher to manage that way, or? Well, it is, but uh, everyone else is in that same position, and uh, I'm actually excited this year. They they put us up to 18 games. Oh, they did. Okay. Normally we do 14, and uh, our schedules came out this year, and we're, we're doing 18. So it's a uh, it's a quick long haul, as they say. Right. Within two months getting 18 games in, but. I think that's only going to help us when we get to the end of the season and we get into playoffs. Right, because with a young team, the more you guys play, I mean, every 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 player's going to be better tomorrow than he was today. Absolutely. I mean, especially having a young team, you know, some young players out there, the more time I can get them out on the field, the uh, better off we're going to be in the, in the at the end of the, the season. All right, well, we're talking with the uh, Portsmouth Christian Eagles, uh, Ryan Lemaire, Justin LaDuc, Coach uh, Jeff LaDuc. We're going to get... Uh, we're going to get four over the boards here, talk to some more players in just a moment. We'll take a timeout, and when we come back, we'll continue our conversation with the PCA Eagles. You're listening to the All-Star High School Sports Show live from the WTSN studios in Dover on AM 1270 WTSN and WTSNAM1270.com. In for trouble. Now, more of the All-Star High School Sports Show with Justin McIsaac. And we're back at the All-Star High School Sports Show each and every Tuesday night now, or Tuesday night now in English. 
Write it down. Tell your friends. And this Saturday morning on McIsaac on Sports, we'll talk to Jack Edwards from the Nesson. He's going to be live from Montreal from the Lions Den. Jack's going to be on the phone with us. And we can talk a little Yarmir Yager as the Bruins uh, picking him up today officially. So don't forget, Saturday morning, 9 o'clock. And he'll be on right off the bat, right at 9.05. Jack Edwards on McIsaac on Sports. We're here with the uh, Portsmouth Christian Academy Eagles boys baseball team, now joined by uh, Andrew Cunningham. Andrew, how you doing, bro? I'm doing great. Thanks for having us. And uh, you have a part of the field named after you. Uh, that's right, in left field, our uh, big dip. <laughs> that's the swamp right now. Yeah, Cunningham's Ravine, they named it last year. I, I told somebody they had to name it, so they named it after you. I mean, is that do you, do you carry that as a badge of honor? Yeah, definitely. It's... I mean, I would. Yeah, right, right. Everything has been named after me. I can't repeat on the radio. But, I mean, uh, also joined by uh, Andrew Green. How you doing, Andrew? I'm doing well. Thanks for having us. All right. Thanks for, for being on the program. Matt Salloway's here. How you doing, Matt? I'm good. Excited to be here. Thank you. All right. And uh, also, Nico Townsend's here. Nico, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing good. Thanks a lot. Awesome. Now, for, I want to get right off the bat. Uh, Matt was throwing you, Nico, and you, Andrew, under the bus because he said you guys have a pregame ritual. And you messed it up last year in the playoffs, and that's what cost you the win. Yeah. So talk me through what this pregame ritual is. Uh, well, before every away game on the bus, uh, Nico and I would play chess okay. on my phone. And every single away game, Nico beat me. And the only time I beat Nico was uh, on the way to Plymouth uh, for a semifinal game. Really? And I didn't realize it till after <laughs> the game. I, I was... I was like, "What? What have I done? This is, this is really awful." <laughs> it's a, Matt's shaking his head now. Matt, well, we know who to blame. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't blame the opposition. Yeah. Blame these guys. Now, you, so you're saying that uh, that that Andrew should have laid down for Nico. He should have. That he was doing that earlier <laughs> so. in the season. He just decides the one game that he's going to win is one of the most important games we play. <laughs> true. I mean, wow. not, well, he's, he's a smart he's, kid, but I don't know what goes Nico's through his head. Nico's a far sometimes. superior chess player, and <laughs> yeah. so I just I just had to get one win in there, and then afterwards it. It came out crashing down on me. So, yeah, it's it's it, you know it's the the law of averages. Eventually, you're going to win a chess game. Eventually, you guys had to lose a baseball game. Yeah. Unfortunately, they coincided. But well, that's, that that's all right. We're not here to talk about the past. We're here to talk about the future. Uh, Andrew, are you playing uh, left field again this year? Or? Yeah, that's correct. So you're, that that ravine is yours. Oh yeah. And you're a senior. Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, what, uh, what 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 things did you learn from last year's playoff run? Um, it's it's definitely fun. Uh, fun winning the game. It's uh, difficult. Uh, one thing that we didn't really experience much was coming back. We had right. a uh, one game where we came back in the ninth, and then I can't recall any others. I mean, the seventh. Right. Uh, I, I, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, and um, and then really the semifinals game. I mean, we got shut out. We couldn't hit the ball. That was our biggest issue when we, you know, we relied on our hitting all yep. season. Yeah, and so yeah, so it's a, it's good to blow teams out, but when you got to come back from adversity, you haven't. Maybe not so good. Sure. Yeah. All, right, all right. And uh, what, what did you, uh, Andrew Green, what did you pick up from last year's uh, playoff run? Um, I just thought that it was interesting to see that no matter where we are in the season, no matter how well we did, as long as there's still teams to play, there's still going to be troubles to face, and we can always lose a game no matter how well it seems like we did throughout the season. All right. And uh, what, what uh, year are you, Andrew? I'm a senior. As well. Senior. Okay. And what position are you playing this year? Um, mostly outfield. I've kind of been dabbling with pitching during practice, and not very good. So okay. Well, you, hey, you don't expect to see me. Out. You're in the same boat with me, bro. I can't. I can't hit the plate with a uh, with a map, a compass, and a native guide. It's all right. Uh, Matt Salloway, uh, what position are you playing this year? Center field again. Center field again. That's right. my home. He's he's got a lockdown out there. Are you a senior, Matt? Or I am. I'm a senior this year. All right. Now, uh, you guys. I mean, you know, we've got some seniors here, but you're pretty much a young team. What what are you trying to uh, you know teach the young guys as one of the leaders of the team? I mean, we just try and make sure that their fundamentals are correct. Like in the outfield, I'll help with the younger kids sometimes, make sure they're getting their hands up and their footwork's correct, and just being calm with the ball and making sure they're making their making their plays, catching the ball, getting the outs, and then after they catch the ball, then they throw it in. Just stay within themselves. Right, and I think people that don't play baseball, you know, after Little League, which I, I started playing in a men's league last year, I didn't realize how much talking is going on during a play. So you're like the captain of the outfield. So you're telling the guys, hit the cutoff man or this or that. So you have a lot to do out there. Yeah, center field definitely like tells them where to go. If I see a fly ball out there going to Andrew and left, I'll yell back, back, or yep. in, in, make sure he's uh, getting under it. 
and center field. What I learned last year is center field like calls off. If I say I got it, then I'm I get yeah. the ball and people will just move. You're it out the of captain. The way. I am of the outfield. That's right. Of the out. If they, yeah, making that clear. All right, Nico Townsend. Are you a senior, Nico? I am a senior. Yes. All right, and you, where are you playing this year? Uh, I play first, and I pitch a little bit as well. Pitch a little bit as well. Yeah. So is it now? Which do you prefer, pitching or first base? Um, it's a good question. I think I prefer first, just because like I'm, I don't know, I'm more comfortable there, and uh, I haven't pitched a lot, but uh, you know. Pitching is fun, too. So. All right. Did you play first last year? Or? Uh, I actually DH'd last year, and oh. I was the backup first baseman, so okay. that was really fun. Did you, did you get a, well, now, with a lot of blow, it's probably got a, some reps at first base, I'm guessing, right? Yeah, I did. I did get a few, um, but mostly Justin Corson, who was our first baseman last year, got uh, the majority of the time. But, yeah, DHing was, was was great just to be a part of that lineup. <laughs> Right, and now what 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 sort of things did you uh, you, you, you DH you didn't play you played the field once in a while? What sort of things did you pick up from last year's playoff run that you can apply to this year? Well, uh, definitely beat Andrew at chess every single time. Because, <laughs> uh, Job one, yes, is to beat Andrew at <laughs> That's chess. That's exactly right. Uh, no, uh, I guess um, just that, uh, like some of the other guys said, just uh, like we're gonna face adversity and we gotta be ready for that and just uh, just to power through. Do you think it's going to help, like lose that losing that playoff game, having that taste in your mouth? Do you think it's going to help you guys throughout this season? Uh, I think it, I think it will. Yeah, because uh, the the people who are uh, who were here last year and uh, coming on this year are definitely uh, ready for or thirsty for a, a championship. So that's yeah. All right, now you guys are all seniors, and uh, we're just about running out of show here. So let me ask you, uh, Andrew, you're a senior. Are you headed to college next year? I am. Where are you headed? I don't know yet. You know, do you have hats on the table like it's ESPNU? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right, well, who's who's the favorite right now? Um, I'm really interested in the Kings College in New York City. Okay. Um, and then the Grove, Grove City uh, in Pennsylvania. Okay. Now you playing baseball once you get there, or what do you think? Um, intramurals. Intramurals. Uh, that's all I got. <laughs> all right, and uh, you know, maybe some Legion ball. And listen, once you turn 30, men's leagues are awesome. Let me yeah, tell you sure, what. Because sure. when you when you're uh, I'm 34, I'm the youngest guy in the league. I think so. It's it's it's, it's awesome. Well, right. Yeah. Well, baseball in my life has just prepared me for slow pitch softball. Oh, <laughs> well, I'll tell you some off air stories about slow pitch softball. That's a good time, but right. not appropriate for the radio. Uh, Andrew Green, you headed to college next year, bro? Yeah, I'm gonna go to Drexel University in Philadelphia. Drexel. All right. Now you you playing baseball at Drexel or what's going on? Maybe intramural. Nothing major. Nothing major. What what are you studying when you get to Drexel? You haven't decided yet, or uh, what do you think? I'm gonna be a part of their new entrepreneurship program. Excellent. And Andrew, I forgot to ask you, what are you studying when you get to uh, wherever you decide to go? Um, I'm interested in commu- computer science, and then also um, media, culture, film, something like that. Awesome. All right. Excellent. And uh, where are you going, Matt? Where are you going to college after high school? I think I'm going to go to Florida Atlantic University. FAU. Yeah. All right. Excellent. They just they decided not to name their football stadium after a prison, which is good. But uh, <laughs> you're going to play uh, – when you get there, you're going to play baseball, or what do you think? I think I'm heading straight for the men's leagues. <laughs> they, nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Let me tell you what. What are you studying at FAU? Um, uh, probably something in the business department. I mean, I got time to figure that out. Right, you got listen. You get plenty of time. Yeah. I didn't get the radio until I was twenty nine, so you're you're fine. Uh, Nico, what about you? You headed to college next year? Yeah, I am. Uh, I'm either gonna go to UNH or Emmanuel College, which is in Boston. So. Okay, is there a leader in the clubhouse or? Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, There's no baseball at UNH. What about Emmanuel? Right. Uh, well, I'll I'll look into it while I'm there. All right, I'm there. So. What are we studying when we get to college? Uh, What's I'm, going on? I'm really interested in mathematics, actually. Mathematics. Yeah. All right, well, I, I, that, that's, yeah, that's, that might as well be in Chinese to me. I, yeah, I, I'm, I was an English history talking, you know, getting in trouble guy. Gotcha. So that's uh, that's great. Now, let me ask you guys this real quick because we're just about out of time. Uh, Andrew, I'll start with you. If you guys play up to your potential, do you, you think you could match the success of last year? Can you get past it? What do you think? Uh, we'll definitely be competitive. Uh, I hope by the end of the year uh, we'll be get stronger throughout the year and be able to uh, compete well in the playoffs and get to June 8th. All right, and uh, Andrew, who's the best chirper on the team? Who chirps the best? Uh, I'd have to go with Salloway here. Salloway? Right. <laughs> Salloway, wait, wait, are you the best chirper on the team? I have no clue. Wait, don't, don't, don't give it. If you're the best, you know you're the best. All right, don't give me that. <laughs> well, all right, well, the, the, the Andrew seems to think you are. Who's got okay. the best? Who's got the funniest Twitter account on the team? Funniest Twitter account? Yes. Ooh, well, we actually have a PCA Ball Problems Twitter account. You do? We do. Uh, you're getting a follow as soon as the show is all right, over all right. Me, all right? Go, yeah, make sure you follow us. All right. And so now are you in charge of that, or are you guys all in charge um, of that? It's a couple people. Yeah, a couple yeah. people. The whole team pretty Nobody much knows. knows the account yeah. stuff. Nobody knows. Nobody no knows. one knows which tweet belongs to who. All right. Well, that's probably best for the, the coach doesn't know. And uh, <laughs> All right, Nico, who's the funniest kid on the team? Oh, man. Uh that's a tough one. I'm I'm gonna have to go with 
Probably my friend Langdon. He's uh he's pretty hilarious. He's uh, Langdon. What's his first name? Uh, that's his name. Oh, that is his first name. What's his last name? Uh, Tarbell. Okay. Um, he's he's just a great kid, and he's hilarious at everything he does. And he's new. He's a senior, first time playing baseball. So. All right. Well, uh, you guys, uh, we're looking forward to. We'll we'll certainly see you at least once or twice this season. And you guys playing at the the Fisher Cat Stadium at uh, I think they call it at Northeast Delta Dental again this year. How exciting is that? You guys fired up for that? Yeah, yeah. I'm pumped for it. That'd be yeah. sweet. All right, and uh, Coach, uh, well, I want to thank all you guys for coming. And Coach Jeff LeDuc, uh, Ryan Lemaire, Justin LeDuc, Andrew Cunningham, Andrew Green, Matt Salloway, and Nico Townsend. Thank you guys so much, and uh, we will see you down the road. Best of luck this season. Thank, thank, you. Much. thank you. All right, that's all the time we have for the All-Star High School Sports Show. We ran a little bit long, actually, but you know what? It's my show. I can do what I want. Uh, coming up next, it's Fox Sports Radio, and don't miss uh, the New York Yankees and the Red Sox tomorrow night on WTSN. I'm Justin McIsaac saying so long, everybody.